oh, what's up with this dude, man? Like, he will not let Meek Mill go. Everything, eat, breathe, sleep is Meek Mill. Even to the point he went and got his best friend, his ex-best friend. I mean, I don't know if it was his best friend, but he said he knew him since um, elementary school. So a sandbox name, he went and got him. Just to have, be closer to no information about dude, to get dirt or intel on him. And then, like, dude, the way he do operate, he's a drunk, man. This dude's like, he's a drunk out the red cup like he's in college. The rat, I'm like, damn, we told on. We you not going to entertain things. Nah, he was like, yo, it's like, yeah, yo, he's not like that. I'm like, damn, I'm like, yo. So now I'm trying to figure out who you are. But, all right, this is who I am. I'm Danny. I am uh, a whole lot of hats under me, man. You know, I'm gonna wear a lot of hats. I do a lot of different stuff. Yeah, yeah. that was my boy. But now, you know, that's how I go. But what you mean? That's how I go. And look, how DJ Academics just reared back, like, oh, I got some, I got some. He's getting intel on, dude, man. That's a dirty lobster right there. What I'm trying to do in Philly is something totally different. I see. Recently, you've been trying to. First together, a new movement, bring a lot of people together. Continue the wave. Might be a couple of different faces, but it looks like you're down to put up and coming rappers on. There's so much, like, I don't even know how we got here. I've always heard your name when it came to the Dream Chasers. Yo, this is the right hand man. This is the guy. Like, I remember people used to be like, yo, I ain't gonna lie, this boy lit. Somehow, he must got some game or something. They told me he was Dane Karen Civil. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you, they was, I've heard everything about you. But I never know the real. Right. I've only heard things. Um, for me, years ago, and I'll and I give a little bit of my experience. Genuinely and honestly... I don't know why Meek doesn't like me that much. I think he thinks I played a part in that beef with Drake, but I really didn't. That was some shit that's already set in stone. I, 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 it, it, that's fans. Right. Now, I know I'm a media company. And by the way, I remember talking, I used to talk to Kuhn. I used to talk to Kuhn Philly. And I used to tell him, I said, yeah, I am, I am a Drake fan. Like, Drake's my favorite rapper. But there's certain things I can't control. Some people have given me the power. They're like, yo, you could change people's minds. I can't. I could publicize things, but I can't change people's minds. And I'm going to be honest with you, I, I really think, and, and, and this is a very humble, honest opinion, I really feel that if Meek wasn't so egotistical, me and him would have been sat down, been talked, and he would have realized, not no, like, evil dude. I could say, Curly, this is why you don't like academics, goofy dimmicks. He said he wants to start a podcast recently, and academic said he'll throw a million dollars in to start a podcast with him. And then Meek Bill came back with this. Not like a finance podcast deal thing, laugh out loud. He said, I hang around all billionaires, and I'm caked up. You streaming for your chair getting drunk. I'm changing laws and stopping major hood beefs and trying to uplift the culture. Man, he ain't lying right now at the Red Cup, getting drunk. Ain't on nothing. And from his stance, yeah, it broke. So how could you throw a million dollars into this dude? And his ex-homeboy didn't let academics slide him all the way. He kind of like was like, nah, he ain't that way. He's this way. But from your perspective, you're going to have a different angle, dude, a whole different view of him. So, man, but I, I ain't like you, man. I feel like, man, academics is really reaching. And I don't like people like that, man. I try to go to people you ain't cool with no more. And, yeah, form a pack against you. That's trash, man. That's what snakes do. Bro, I'm doing what... There's going to be media. That's what. That, that's how... There's media... Listen, there's going to be a Stephen A. Smith for sports. There's going to be a academics for music. There's going to be somebody else for golf. And I thought we could come to the understanding. And I thought we could come to understanding. But what I realized over time is that, man, there's an ego and a self-centeredness that I've realized about so many rappers. 
a rapper, what I've learned about rappers, and it's been so sad I've learned that about the majority of rappers, they don't view their crew the same, they don't view the people who help them, who protect their lives, they don't view the people who promote their music, they don't view nobody the same as they think is there is important. They treat everybody subservient. And I can't speak on that like that, because everybody not the same, you know what I'm saying? All, all art is not like that. Some people do treat their people with love and care. Some people do congratulate them. Some people do uplift their people and give them jobs and opportunities. Everybody not the same. Everybody don't view their people like that. You tell me how all this started because you've been on this journey for a long time. I know one thing about it, two things for certain. DJ Academics really reaching, trying to get in, telling Meek Mill, that's trash. Goofy, dude.